In December, we experience the season in the church year of Advent and Christmas. It's a time, Advent means coming. It's a time in which we prepare our lives, ourselves, and it should be a preparation spiritually as well as all the decorations and all the gift giving that we do. And Christmas, of course, is Emmanuel, God with us, and we celebrate that birth and what it means to have God with us in our daily walk. So I invite each of you every day to do the following things, part of our preparation and our rejoicing in the gift that God has given us, that we start every day preparing for, with hope and joy for the assurance of God's promises, that we realize every day we can be the face of God to our families and friends. And I end every day thanking God for today's blessing and place into God's hands my worries and fears.
Today we read from Christ in Our Home, October, November, December, 2020 edition. It's Saturday, December 12th. Today's reading comes from Habakkuk, chapter 3, verses 13 through 19. You came forth to save your people, to save your anointed. You crushed the head of the wicked house, laying it bare from foundation to roof. You pierced with their own arrows the head of his warriors, who came like a whirlwind to scatter us gloating as if ready to devour the, po the poor who were in hiding. You trampled the sea with your horses, churning the mighty waters. I hear, and I tremble within. My lips quiver at the sound. Rottenness enters into my bones, and my steps tremble beneath me. I wait quietly for the day of calamity to come upon the people who attack us. Though the fig tree does not blossom, and no fruit is on the vines, Though the produce of the olive fails, and the fields yield no food. Though the flock is cut off from the fold, and there is no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will exult in the God of my salvation. God, the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer, and he makes me tread upon the heights. Happy Saturday, December 12th. I like graduating from college so much, I did it three times for the same degree. I finished my course requirements in December, and a few days later participated in the special ceremony for mid-year grads at my college. The following spring, I was invited not only to my college's spring commencement, but also to that of our university. One of my roommates asked me why I went to all three. I told him, because it was fun, and it was. The feeling of exaltation after all that hard work was what I wanted to last forever. Graduation is an easy time to see and celebrate what's been accomplished. But God has done so much more for us. And God's accomplishments can be easily forgotten because they are all around us. God's grace itself is a gift. We often overlook amidst the busyness of life. Yet God has blessed us so richly that we could excel every day and it wouldn't be enough but it sure would be fun to try. God, help me to exult over all you've done for me. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>